Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty Within. It's your greasy girl, Belle. And today we're actually continuing the topic of like aging skin, but not aging as like old. In our previous video, I talked a little bit about the seven year skin and body cycle that traditional Chinese medicine, but also traditional Korean medicine understands and approaches their skincare through. Today, we're gonna be really chill about it because I have some new products to share with you guys that I am so freaking excited. And it's from Pyongkang Yul. They are sponsoring a portion of this video. It is their black tea line and it is chef's kiss. So we're gonna get into our skincare and then I thought we're gonna mix it up today for the rest of the video. Ask you guys on Instagram some questions on how to de-stress when you're feeling anxious or stressed out. And I'm actually going to take up all your suggestions and we're gonna do it together on a fun date out in New York City today, so that will come up after. But before we start, please make sure you've subscribed and also joined our newsletter because every month we have a free e-magazine full of recipes, lifestyle things, fashion, makeup, beauty, and all the things that we don't get to necessarily talk to you guys on here about. So sign up for our free newsletter there and let's get started. Now, let us get our hair out of the way. I got these little clips on Amazon and they're really cool because they don't leave a little stamp on your hair afterwards. And then let's get the rest of our hair out of the way. These huge clips are awesome if you have like medium or long hair. It just gets all of it tucked away in there. I have a little bit of like light makeup on, a little bit of sunscreen, and I'm just gonna show you kind of like how we take it off. So in the morning, sometimes in the summer, you don't necessarily need to do like a full on thorough cleanse. So what Ro and I really love doing is using a micellar water or cleansing water. This is the Dermaclear Micro Water from Dr. Jart. So I'm putting this on a little cotton pad. And these are the reusable cotton pads that we have on our beauty within shop so you can use it with your micellar water like I'm doing now and what I like to do because I do have some mascara here is actually you want to like just let it soak in in the morning you don't need a full-on cleanse because you've only been sleeping right and so you really just need to take away like the excess sebum that built up dirt and dust and the previous night's dead skin and skincare. So nothing too insane. If you guys are just starting out in your routine and you think, oh, cleansing's not that important. Actually, it's probably one of the most effective ways at keeping your skin nice and youthful and fresh because you wanna start on a clean canvas. It's the first step to really helping breakouts because you don't want like clogged pores. So yes, gentle cleanse is always the best. Ding! So I just used two of these. So now we are all ready and clean. I'm very excited because guys, this is the new Pyongkang Yul Black Tea Deep Infusion Toner. Oh my God. And this is probably my favorite amongst their whole line. So they have a toner, a serum, they have a moisturizer and also an eye cream. And I'll kind of show you what it looks like. But first of all, let's appreciate this bottle. If you look closely, you'll see that there's multi-colored like rainbow effect. Back in the olden days in Korea, they had these like shell jewelry boxes. And so they were really just trying to design the bottle around that to kind of take a little bit of the old, incorporate it with the new, which actually speaks a lot about Pyongkang Yul as a brand because they did start from the Pyongkang Clinic in Korea. And that clinic was really devoted to formulating the most gentle skincare that was based in science for people with atopic dermatitis. The first time I used this, it's like heavy, it's so luxurious, you feel like a million bucks after using it. And the cool thing is I've never seen a toner come out of a pump. So when you pump it into your skin, you squirt it out. Normally toners are like really watery like this, right? But this one almost feels 
like a viscousy serum, but then you put it on and it completely dissolves into water. So what's in here is actually so many of our favorite ingredients, but of course they incorporate like traditional Korean hanbang ingredients because that's what Pyeongkang Yul really is. So there's niacinamide as well as sea berry in here. And both of those are really subtle and beautiful brightening ingredients. So it's got natural vitamin C from the sea berry and niacinamide. It's also got mugwort for soothing and calming, another one of our like favorite Korean ingredients that has been used for thousands of years. You know, if you were to go to a Chinese or Korean apothecary and they mix little like roots and stuff, you'll find a lot of root extracts in here, like white peony. In several studies, white peony was also really good at helping with hyperpigmentation because it was able to reduce the melanin that was being produced or the excess melanin. And then obviously the black tea is there as a really strong antioxidant to help fight off free radical damage, which can really cause skin aging in the cellular level of your skin. So it's nothing that you can really see, but it ages you over time, right? So you really wanna amp up your antioxidants and tea is just hands down one of the best ingredients you can find. And then for that vibrance and vitality of the skin, there's also adenosine and peptides. And peptides are just the building blocks of our skin. So this I am in love. Moving on to serum steps. So they have this black tea boosting serum and I just have two words, ginseng and black tea. You guys know lately how much we have been obsessed with ginseng. If there was an ingredient food chain for antioxidants, the ginseng would be at the very top. The power of ginseng is like so ingrained in like traditional Chinese medicine, but also Korean medicine. And that's why you'll see a lot of the high-end skincare products will be formulated with it. So this includes the ginseng fruit as well as the fermented black tea, much like the toner. But this one, compared to the toner, also comes in the pump bottle, is this beautiful tea color. So once again, it's this really lightweight gel. So if you have combination skin, if you're also like us and you're in the middle of a sweaty, swampy New York City summer, these are the type of textures that you'll wanna look for. So this one is just like slightly more nourishing compared to the toner, because as we know, serums are really there as a targeting step. So you might not even need to use a serum if you feel that like your skin is already great, but in in terms of just daily maintenance and daily protection, I think having a serum is really important if it has the ability to be able to protect your skin like tenfold, right? And the fact that this one's got the ginseng gives it a little bit more of that like antioxidant power. And I would say like if you're using this one, you don't necessarily need to use the toner and vice versa because this one also has ceramides, hyaluronic acid, as well as the side, which is in the family of Centella Asiatica. So it's really just doing the most anyway. So honestly, I would say choose one. I can't help you choose because I love them both. I feel like they're both very different. The deep infusion toner is just a little bit more lightweight and this one's a little bit more nourishing, but still it's like we're in the realm of gel, guys. So it's really not that like intoxicating. Love it. Moving on to moisturizer. In this black tea line, they also have an enriched cream, which is a thick, luxurious cream. And it's also got the ginseng fruit extract in there, as well as all the other medicinal Korean herbal roots. The texture is like silky and luxurious on the skin. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this, pop it on top, and then work it all over. So you might be wondering, Val, what about the eyes? We didn't really talk a lot about eye creams because we just said, you know, you can use your favorite moisturizer and kind of just like spread it up there. But as Ro and I are just hitting 30, we're in a new cycle. We are definitely starting to see that for me anyway, under the eyes is getting fine lines. So I've actually started using eye cream and in the black tea line, they also have the Time Reverse Eye Cream. And why this is so beautiful, like first of all, it comes in this 
pretty case that you can just keep. Put all your like rings and jewelry in it. It's so pretty. It's in this tube and the first time I actually used it, I was like, wow, this feels nice. It's like a lotion for the eye, but it's packed with the antioxidants of the fermented black tea, the kombucha. So when it comes to like tackling fine lines and wrinkles, you can stave off wrinkle development if you just keep your skin hydrated and nourished. The fact that the smaller particles of the black tea have been broken down through fermentation enables it to sink deep into your skin and really help to plump and boost up those fine lines and really heal it from within. And on top of that, it's got beta-glucan and also macadamia seed oil, as well as a little bit of shea butter to help with that deep nourishment, but it doesn't feel heavy. That's the insane thing. It's like so lightweight to spread. And what you wanna do is you don't have to go all the way up to the eyelid because you know, the nature of the skin under our eyes is that it is much, much thinner than the rest of our face. And that's why you can see dark circles. So this, is going to help it from the outside, but really what heals dark eye circles is like lifestyle choices and stress management and just dealing with like what's in here. And we'll get into that a little bit later, but just wanted to show you that they have an eye cream as well and it is gorgeous. So yes, that was the black tea line from Pyongkong Yul. This was honestly just one of the first products this year that I've genuinely felt excited to share about because it's just beautiful. It's like beauty and simplicity and it also pays respect to a lot of traditional ingredients. So highly recommend you guys check that out. Now moving on to the last and probably most important step of any skincare routine, no matter what age or skin type you are, it is sunscreen. It might seem that I've been excited throughout this entire <laughs> routine because I am. But we actually just added these two new sunscreen onto our shop. And I know you love sunscreens. Finding the perfect one is so difficult because it can come off oily. It can smell really weird. But these two we added because our whole team just loves. So the first you've known I've talked about before. You guys also have shown me that you love is the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence. It almost feels like a gel serum or gel toner. That's how lightweight it is. And it's got this nice like floral scent. A lot of you said it was a little bit drying because the alcohol to make it, you know, dissolve so beautifully into our skin. But the thing that you might not know is that they reformulate these Japanese sunscreens almost like every year. So the one that you tried might have been an older formulation. Maybe they reformulated it, but we have this one and the one on the shop is actually much bigger. This is just one that I got myself before when we were testing it. So yes, highly recommend 10 out of 10. But today I want to use this Anessa one because it is the perfect UV sunscreen skincare milk and it's SPF 50 plus. So you're getting more than enough protection if you were gonna go outside and do, you know, outside things, which we are going to be doing. And I just wanna show you the consistency. It's like water. Do you see that? And it like runs down and then it's like, so beautiful. I know a lot of you guys have really been into the beauty of Josan sunscreen as well. I also really enjoy that one, but this is just completely different. It's like this lightweight milk and it just blends beautifully into your skin, giving you this skin-like finish. You're glowy, but not like oily and you feel nourished, but it's so light. I will say though, when you first apply it, this one you work in, it does look a little white because it's actually a hybrid formula, whereas this one is just completely nothing. But when you like work it into your skin, it will just completely dissolve. So make sure you go down the neck. Our neck also ages too. So although I didn't spread it down today my skincare because I'm scared I will touch this mic <laughs> but make sure you spread all your skincare down the neck into the ears you know it all deserves some love voila that is the skincare if you incorporate 
these fermented ingredients. You have a really good cleansing method. You top it off with a sunscreen that's doing the most that you literally enjoy using every day you will have no issues with youthfully aging. And there's like beauty within each phase of our life, right? So just remember that. And even if you are kind of like going through some type of skin issues, we all go through it, so it's okay. That completes the skincare part. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but I'm just actually gonna put on a little bit of light daily makeup, and then we're gonna go out and gallivant in the world together based on your recommendations. can take out our hair. Boing. Yay! And now we're back to where we started. Isn't that hilarious? I had makeup on, took it off, did a whole skincare routine, put it back on again, and we're out. <laughs> okay guys, so let's adventure and have a fun date in the city. Bye bye! Let us go. So I'm just heading downstairs, my skin is feeling good, it's protected, it's not sticky, it's hydrated. Now we gotta work on the mind. So I'm in the lobby and we're starting the day of decompressing, taking time for ourselves because yes, I very much need it. A lot of you guys said um, your favorite thing to do when you're stressed or feeling anxious is to walk, so that's what we're gonna do. Although I have nowhere to go, so we will see. <laughs>
look at this dew on my face. <gasps> wow, did we walk a lot, guys? I followed your instruction and we walked. <gasps> okay, before we go on, let me get the croissant that we got. <sighs> One of you guys said in the um, things to do is to get a snack or like get an ice cream. Um, someone specifically said a croissant. So there's actually this place right next to Bryan Park that I've always wanted to go to for their cakes and pastries. It's called Angelina. So this is their croissant. Tastes like a croissant. A really good croissant has like almost this really light, crispy, flaky outer shell, and then a really soft inside. This one's like kind of soft, um, like all over. So there isn't kind of like a contrast of texture, but you know, what would I know? If there's any French people here or croissant connoisseurs, please leave below how to determine what is a good croissant. So just some thoughts of while I was walking and at the park so I was so excited when you guys said like just walk around but I didn't realize that like walking through specific parts when you're trying to just like wind down is actually very stressful and then I think it took me around like at least five minutes to just like Usa, just like sit there and be present and you know looking around people watching like people watching is my favorite thing to do i think because it takes you out of your own life for a while it's kind of like reading a book where it's really up to your imagination like seeing people studying and then i start thinking what are they studying did they move to new york just to study do they know anyone was it hard and then i start thinking about how difficult it was coming here like seven years ago and learning how to be by myself and doing everything kind of independently and so yeah you just go down this like introspective path like mind path which is really nice and it takes you out of the normal things that you currently are thinking about like the normal day stresses and oh. oh my god my phone died perfect because one of you just said switch off your phone for the day but i do remember because i'm thinking of the next suggestion that you guys put through and a lot of you guys suggested to paint or draw and so when i saw that like because during covid i actually bought a bunch of watercolors to just like you know stress relief or reignite my passion for art wait let me show you so the last thing i drew from the watercolor were these little tangerines i don't know why i was just like in the mood to draw these little oranges or mandarins or whatever it is so anyway let's take that out and uh, maybe I'll get changed because I am so sweaty, guys, from walking around. Okay, I don't actually know how to set up this camera, but this is all my watercoloring stuff. So in here, this is the watercolor paper. It's just like slightly thicker. Did I watch any YouTube videos on how to watercolor before this? No. Should I have? Probably. Nice! Grass. Guys, we have grass. Just 
just trying to sketch out the general buildings and where everything is. I'm definitely not going to be finishing this today, but that was so nice, guys. You guys have the best suggestions. I'm already feeling so calm. Wow. Hmm. Even just setting up this art painting situation was actually so therapeutic. Um, and then the sun coming in, like, the, I am never at home when the sun is setting. And I just feel like the sun has this ability, like, if you see the sunset or whatever, like, it has this ability to really calm you down and, like, be in the present. So... been a lot lately. I guess it really depends on how we frame it. We can't control everything that happens obviously, but we can control how we react to it and how we choose to perceive it and what we can do ourselves. And every day is really just another day to learn more about ourselves, I think. Um, and to grow into the people we want to be. As you can see, it's very important to protect our skin. We were out in the city and there's just like so much on our skin, sunscreen, antioxidants, but also in the mind. So thank you again. Leave any of your future suggestions on videos or even more activities that you'd like in the comments below. I'm sure people would really love to know each other and what you guys all do and yeah i'll see you very soon